Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk podcast reaction series. I'm Luke going D A D, and I'm joined by Tempest. Hello. Now you, I, I texted you this morning, and I said, I'm trying to avoid some dynamite spoilers. Uh, I want to do a reactions video with you because I'd watched it this morning. Mm -hmm. So you not seen anything? Nope. Uh, so we're going to do, but like, I would say, because you were quite trepidatious, because mm -hmm. usually when we put you in here. <laughs> I'm expecting Austin Gunn to have squashed Samoa Joe and won the world title. <laughs> it's nothing like that. Okay. So you actually get two reactions in here, which I didn't think of on my way in. But the segment we're about to watch, and you also get to look at the new set. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I hadn't considered that. I yeah. get to watch the condom entrance tunnels. That's right. Yeah. Entrance tunnels are back. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to watch this now. I'm going to press play. If you want to sync with this on the fight app, it's at uh, 58 minutes and 53 seconds. So here we go. I'm looking at an image of Sting, which I imagine is just the end of a video package celebrating his retirement. That is correct. Got uh, Tony Schiavone. That guy's losing his mind in the crowd. <laughs> he really was losing his mind. Mm. So I've got to, I was going to ask this question of Ollie as well. They obviously refer to them as the Young Bucks on commentary, and TS just said, call them the Young Bucks. Mm -hmm. Like their name bar when it comes up is still Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, even on like their yeah. trons. Well, you got to get the first names over. That's right, I suppose, yeah. <gasps> Is it the Cody Vader? <laughs> oh, the going. Cody Vader! I mean, I guess that's it, right? Thanks, guys, for watching. <laughs> this is uh, this is why they changed the set. It's so that they, the Bucks could have the Cody Vader again. That's the whole reason. <laughs> Sorry, Mikey Ruckus. We had to get a new entrance theme for the whole show yep. just for the Cody Vader. I like the new set for for the record. I think it looks rad. I like. I'm glad the tunnels are back. As my, I as well. Is my first note I made this morning was the tunnels are back. It is. I think when when TNA lost the tunnels, that's when I was like, is it really TNA anymore? Is this the Impact Zone? <laughs> no, they're on opposite sides yeah. of the building as well. Love the hat. Yeah, that is a uh, a proper dickhead hat. I love that their facial hair is like a little different every time. Yeah. Oh yeah. You as know? as a pair of pricks, they are like, what what facial hair can I do this week? If I did that, I wouldn't be able to grow all this back for like three weeks. Oh no. So it would be a very short run. If I shaved off this, which I have thought of in the past, I was like, maybe I could go mustache only. I'm just I'm so boring upwards. I was like, maybe I can do that. It would take me six months to grow this yeah. back. It's not very nice. Tony Schiavone doing his job there. It's like every time I watch the Young Bucks' baby faces, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, they're they're good. And then I watch them as heels, and I'm like, why are they ever baby faces? <laughs> There's a bit of uh, preamble for this as well. They set this up earlier in the night that they had announcements to make, and they sure. did it in the style of Tony Khan, <laughs> <laughs> directly down the camera, never blinking. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. Sure, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. God, this, I don't, I gotta say it. So unfortunately, Hanger, we have to suspend. 
suspend you indefinitely from the elite without pay. <laughs> Everyone in the office was like, oh, oh. <laughs> so, like, there's something. <laughs> Kenny Omega. Our dear friend. Kenny, it's like you disappeared off of the face of the earth or something. You, you haven't made any of your dates for no good reason, too. I, 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 I can't figure it out. What's wrong with this? So, as far as your association goes with the elite, Ken... Oh, make us fired from the elite. Listen, we're sorry. We love you guys. And I, uh, I also apologize if you had to find that out on, on live television, because actually I know that you did. Uh, but listen, <laughs> chat. We're free all, all, all weekend, I think. Maybe we're not. But anyway, I know number two. We're, we're actually really excited about this one. And I know that you're going to love this one, too. Oh, buddy. That's my Mad King. Like, whose music's <laughs> about to interrupt this tirade? And who better? This is what we were talking about on the Revolution show. It exactly was. Who better to go up against dickhead EVPs than the man walking to the ring in Tim's? <laughs> Come on, Kingston. Mm-hmm. Yeah, low blow, naturally. Man, like a company that last week is Osprey, this week's Akada, next week's likely Mercedes Monet. Here he is, <laughs> big suit, suit and tie. Drop the coin, make it rain. Oh, like you don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No way! <laughs> He's turned heel! First night, two minutes in, turns heel, joins the elite! Oh! <laughs> you fired Kenny Omega from the elite, you brought a Carter into the elite. I feel like we've got our all in main event. <laughs> I was about to say, I was talking to people in the office yesterday about what we might see at this year's all in. Are they going to be able to move the tickets necessary? Well, it's starting to look like there's a real card that could be put in place with a bunch of main event stars. And what better match to sell out the biggest venue in the world than Okada Omega 5? Yeah, huh? 
Holy Mackinac! I, this morning, I hands on heads, could not, I did not see it coming. Nope. My God. Well, look, I, I'll be getting into this when I do the, the Dynamite review later with Ollie. But you and I have kind of talked about this as well. Like, I don't know if we talked about this on mic, we certainly talked about it off mic. I, the idea of Okada coming into AEW, I've been like, eh. Yeah. Because I'd rather him just stay in New Japan. I'm not really in the, in the idea of three-star Okada sure. appearing on TV in one angle. I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. Oh, let's, man. Oh, let's have Okada on TV all the time. He's going to have a couple of guys to talk for him yep. that are doing some of the best character work of their careers right now. And if you're setting up Omega and Okada... I don't think there's any possibility that that match, like, is less than five stars, less than six, probably. And if it's at Wembley Stadium, I think you go to the big man and go, listen, mm -hmm. we need you to turn it all the way up here. This is the Tokyo Dome now. Oh, yeah. This is our version of everybody goes out, has the best match possible, which, granted, might as well be every pay-per-view with the look of this roster, but... Woo boy! Akada is all elite, and he's with the elite. That's nuts. That is spicy. <laughs> Ooh, Ed Okada and Eddie Kingston is the first program, it looks like. If that's your dynasty match, yeah. maybe Okada wins the Continental Crown Championship, and you can have him go on a little bit of a run there. Ooh <laughs> boy! That's very exciting. Oh, there you go, everyone. That is our reaction to Okada turning heel and joining the Elite. We'll have a full review of Dynamite coming up later on the channel. But well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I've been Luco and DAD. That's been Tempest. Yeah! Jam that jam. Yeah.